Chances are you or someone you know is on social media. After all, 77% of Americans have at least one account among those multiple platforms. And Twitter has 330 million users and perhaps one of the most interesting yeah. ones is not your average user. Devin Skillian shows you how retired Congressman John Dingell is taking over Twitter. As the longest serving member of Congress in history, John Dingell was long known as the Dean of the U.S. House. Well, after almost 60 years in Congress, he retired in 2015, but he has hardly been silenced. His razor sharp Twitter feed has brought him a new generation of fans, some of whom now refer to him as the Dean of Twitter. Well, here's one. At age 92, John Dingell doesn't get around quite as well as he once did, but clearly he can still think and type or dictate. So. I did it one time and they said, well, Dingle, that was pretty damn good. Ah, yes, the Kardashian tweet. Dingle tweeted, staff has informed me of what a Kardashian is. I'm only left with more questions. More than 3,000 retweets later, he was off and running. They said, now, Dingle, if you'll do this, we'll protect you and see that you don't, that you don't get yourself in too deep. Well, the hard fact of the matter is I seem to be in over my head. I can't seem to figure out how in the name of hell I'm going to get out. <laughs> well, that's because he's moved his ire away from the Kardashians and trained it on others. Those who either loved or reviled John Dingell, the politician, will not be surprised in the least to find those targets tend to be Republicans. Like former EPA Chief Scott Pruitt, Dingell tweeted, It's always interesting how long a skunk can stay at a picnic. Bon voyage to Swamp Monster Pruitt. I wish you a lifetime of coach flights. Or like the Freedom Caucus, Dingle tweeted, as a man with chronic back pain, I must admit I'm jealous of their spinelessness. Now he also tweets a great deal about the Tigers and his beloved Wolverines, but it is the president who has become John Dingle's catnip. The tweets tend to run to sarcasm. For example, when President Trump complained of Robert Mueller's investigation with the quick message of witch hunt, Dingle took a shot at the president's golf habit, tweeting, the greens must be tricky today. No surprise, the lifelong champion of universal health care and civil rights says there is serious concern behind the humorous bite. If I looked at all of your tweets as a kind of collective John Dingell's State of the Union, um, I, I think I would glean that you're um, deeply concerned about where we're headed as a nation right now. Is that fair? I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death. The current occupant of the congressional seat John Dingell held for so long is his wife, Debbie, who sometimes reads her husband's Twitter feed a little nervously. Do you ever look at Twitter and go, oh, no? Uh-huh. <laughs> John Dingell can say, when you're 92, you can get away with saying a lot of things that the rest of us can't. <laughs> now, it is true that this is the story of a 92-year-old impressively harnessing a digital horse. But the technology is just the vehicle. Witty political observation is hardly new. We'll hold the distinction of being the only nation in the history of the world that ever went to the poorhouse in an automobile. So he and his quarter of a million followers are actually following a grand tradition. But the question John Dingell gets all the time, is that really you writing these tweets? Well, recently, Marshall Mathers, better known as Eminem, tweeted, everyone thinks I don't write my own tweets, but I wrote this one. And John Dingell tweeted in response, yeah, that happens here. Welcome. Do you have any favorite tweets that you've sent out and you've thought to yourself, that's a really good one? They're all favorites when I do them, and then I wonder, was that smart or dumb? <laughs> I, I love it. Despite what you think politically, I love the fact that he's still in the game, he's sharing thoughts, and he also is spreading some humor. I call him Mr. Modern Family because he's the only Twitter account that makes me laugh out loud. That's I'll true. read it and I, I actually didn't know laugh. know that he and Eminem were tweeting. That's kind of cool. I hadn't seen that one either, but <laughs> usually it's sports that really gets me when he yeah. uh, 